Welcome to Casting Cajun. I'm your host, Tony Fontno. Fishing redfish out of Pointer Sham Marina today with my good friend, Barry Fungi. So get ready for an exciting half hour with Casting Cajun. Yeah, bro. That's a nice one, Tony. <laughs> Nothing nice about that, dude. Man, another dozen of these, bro. We're going to the catfish festival. Get this bad boy off of him. Go home. I'll come back. <laughs> At least for a little while. A good one, Tony? I don't know. It might be one of those hard head catfish. The hard head? Yeah. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Swimming around the back of the boat. Come back this way, baby. He'll come. Get a little one up. Here he comes. Oh, no, a little drum. Better than a hard head. But not quite what we're looking for. A little black drum. Tony, why we can't catch them like they are? Oh, we will, Barry. Just have faith. Black drum, the same creel limit, same size limit as redfish. They have to be 16 inches, and you can keep five per person. So this one's nowhere close to 16 inches, so we're gonna let him go. That's a peewee. That's a peewee. Well, lay on the bank, don't look big. I'm coming let me, back. Let me see if this is him. See what it is, huh? You try it. You got it? A little bitty, though. Uh, a little rat bed. A little rat bed. A little seed. A little seed, put a little fertilizer on them. It'd be good for about six months from now. <laughs> huh? That little bitty one. I'm gonna put a shiny, honey jig head with a chartreuse bull minnow. A shiny, honey? That's supposed to be in the back of the beak, not the front. <laughs> what kind of jig head you got, bro? That's just the name, <laughs> I don't think it has anything yeah. to do with my honey. <laughs> What size? I know they've been catching a lot of reds here, Barry. What size have they been running? Uh, they've been running about 16, 20 inches, you know, just the right size to eat. Perfect. Uh, not a whole bunch of big, big ones. So a lot of medium reds, like you see that boy right there got, you know. But that's your perfect size eating fish. You got you want, that right. You want, a, you want a 16, 20 inch fish, you don't want them big old fish because all you got is a big bloodline in there and a big head. <laughs> and you want to let the big ones reproduce. Exactly, let them go. Well, I think it's a trout. Yeah, good little trout. Huh. If I'd have known we were going to catch trout, I'd have brought my just grabbing glove. That's a treat. Yeah. And it's it's 13 inches. Go. Man, look at the fish on top of the water. Oh, it's rain, bro. It's rain. Is it? Rain oh, on top of our head, man. Surely some drops is falling, brother. You're not hitting the boat. Pull up my cage and anchor. That's the problem, bro. We ain't got the right anchor today. Oh, hey, you hey. Me? Don't be bad mouthing the cage Man, and anchor. Man, bro. That's the thing. Very <laughs> casting cage and half hey. a cage and anchor. You ain't lying, huh? For a Cajun man on a Cajun buyer. <laughs> I got 
Grab that net if you want to catch a crab. Barry's a real Cajun. First he calls a shrimp, jumps out the water, lands on the wharf so he can use it for bait. Next he reaches down in the water and grabs a live crab, puts it on his hook. I don't know if there's no more Cajun than Barry Fungi. I'm gonna wait and see what you do. All right. You might throw me a whole crab on there, bro. I was hoping we'd had our limit by now, bro. Yeah. Good? Or not, not long enough? Good. Picking us up a few, huh, Tony? Oh, yes, indeed. Ain't nothing wrong with that, huh? Not catch nothing. a couple reds, catch a couple of specks. Hey, we on fire, bro. Well, since we said we're doing a redfish show, after we catch these specks, we're gonna still have to get some reds. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do it. Let's get these while they're here, though. We'll get them all. Let's do it. Normally, this time of year, the speckled trout are on the islands or in the rigs, the close rigs. But for some reason, we're catching them right here in the marsh in good old Point of Shan, end of the road. You know what it is? They trapped in this place, bro, and they gotta come out of this culvert. That's it. So, we'll be there to get them. Got them, boo. Good red. Good there red. you go, Barry. Yeah. To take them. Between this and them trout, we'll have us a good little fry. Right there in Ponishan. Beautiful boy. Pretty gold color. Look good with some pretty gold grease. <laughs> Just jigging it up and down right here next to the uh, dock. It's high, Not quite legal, but fun. Hey, look at this. Another peewee. Want to cut mullet. We were using shrimp when we started off, and we kept catching a bunch of little fish and a few hardheads. So we got up on the bank and fished on the other side of the dam. Ended up catching speckled trout on artificial bait. Picked up eight of those. But we want some redfish. So we noticed a bunch of dead mullet on the bank. Picked them up, started using pieces of mullet. Looks like the reds are getting a little bigger. Whoa, don't fall off. Nothing to keep him from going overboard right here. Nothing wrong with that. Barry's gonna catch a few crabs, used for bait and go pick up the rest of those mullets, dead mullets that are on the bank. I go straight ahead, Tony. We'll give it a couple calves. Mm -hmm. Get up front, then. I got it, come on. There it is. Oh, oh I had a bite. When you're using shrimp, yeah, when you're using shrimp, you can Set the hook when you feel just a little tap. When you're using a piece of cut mullet or a piece of crab, it's so much of a bigger bait, you gotta let the uh, fish swallow it before you set the hook. All right. Let me get my line out of your way. Oh yeah, nice red. Eating that? Yeah, might as well this little bit. We have a redfish. Good red, good little red. I'm so glad he could join us. <laughs> yes sir. Join us for the show. Yeah, right? he is. Join us for the show, yeah, right, Tony? Yeah, bro. Me and you ain't doing nothing else, Tony. Take my fish off of me. Okay, bro. Barry. <laughs> now would you get your butt up? always helps me. Get your butt up so I can put him in here. <laughs> that ain't bad for about five minutes, huh? No. You got it? Well, you can hear the lightning in the distance, huh? Yeah. That's what's good about fishing around here. You, you're close to everything, you know. Oh, you, you can see the landing. <laughs> you don't have to go far. Right, 
Right into the crab one. Got him. After I take this fish off for you. Oh, you want to help me? <laughs> no, Barry, you really want to. I think I pulled my, uh, what is that? What you call rotator that? Rotator cuff. My socket. My socket. <laughs> my three quarter inch socket. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah, oh, that's yeah. better. I think I need the net again. It's funny, we left out of here and we come right back and now they on, huh? Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, we just so, moved to the other side of the street. Yeah, it don't take long, for sure. Yeah. Well, at least you're going to know how they feel today, Tony. Yeah, I get to touch a redfish. Okay. Okay, enough of the clowning, huh? <laughs> Can I have a crab now, Barry? Yes, sir. Now that you've caught two. Look at that my crab. Mm -hmm. Just let him take it, buddy. He'll come to you. Well, he had some bait fish in the water this morning, huh? Yeah, look, like it's running. It's running that way. Got him. Don't want got one. Got fish him. On oh, yeah. Ooh, I got a good one. Yeah. yeah. See, Barry, I'll let you catch the numbers, and I go for the quality fish. Good thing I got that braided line on here. But what I don't have that I do need. You took my fish, bro. It is. So I don't bruise my belly. Put my cushion on. Now that's a lot more comfortable. Baby. Oh, he's running around the boat, man. All right, come on. Come on around, bro. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy. He ain't right got here. much he's boat to run around, old oh, boy. He's under the boat yeah, now. He ain't got much boat to run no, he's around. He's under the boat. Hang on, bro. Hey, man, just put your line in the other hand. hand. Put your rod in the other hand. There you go. Whoa, baby. Get that motor. Put your elbow, too. Ooh, look at him, Barry. That's a good one. That's a little light tackle. That's beautiful. Let me get a net for you, bro. All right. Let me put this rod on. We're in this Somebody big, roomy boat. All right, now you can take my fish oh, off. Well. Right, oh, well. Tony, that's nice. Beautiful, beautiful, Barry. I'm proud to take your fish off, my partner. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. You should be. I took enough of yours off. 